Based on the latest leak in The Sims 4 Love Struck expansion pack from Anatus today, this expansion pack is huge. Looks like it's going to be jam-packed with a ton of new features, build buy, and create some items. I'll include a link in the bio for you to read it yourself. If you're new to my channel, my name is Bree, and I'm a casual, cozy variety gamer, putting out content on both YouTube and TikTok. So here's a highlight from the lake. So number one, new Cupid's Corner app. It's a dating app for young adults and older. Potential mats come from both in the game and from the gallery. Number two, new create a date options, being able to choose date types, venues, and selecting people to join you. Supposedly, you're able to muse, move the venue in the middle of the date, or the other sim can end it early if the date's going poorly. New death by a broken heart, new woohoo spot on the picnic blanket, new romantic inter interactions, including kiss, cuddle, woohoo on the blanket, shareable box treats, and cuddle in bed. New items such as the board games and grown up costume box. New relationship dynamics, so your sims can either be wholesome, which means they're deeply in love and they show it. Steamy, which is focused on more of the physical side. Strained, which is unhappy or unpredictable, which is changes between arguing and affection. Turn offs and turn ons based on activities, fashion, characteristics, and romance style. Romantic satisfaction is now a thing in the game. Two new traits, love bug, which is enthusiastic about love and romantically reserved, which takes longer to build relationships. A new 10 level romance skill, two new aspirations, a romantic explorer who wants to experience all types of love and the paragon partner who wants to build happy relationships with multiple partners. Both of these new aspirations sound like some sort of polyamory or some sort of alternate relationship type so i'm not actually sure how that's going to work in the game we don't currently have that option a new romance consultant career so it's a rabbit hole 10 level career with two branches either matchmaking or couples therapy and career rewards include heart-shaped office decor and unlocking new interactions new lot type singles hang out new world see dad and morada 13 lots split between three neighborhoods, and the lots include two penthouses, one vacation rental, one park, a gym, a lounge, and a nightclub. New venue interactions, so new ways to attract or connect with potential partners, things like a seductive dance at a bar, nightclub, or lounge. Also, from all the pictures, it seems like there's a ton of new tattoos, bars, wallpapers, eyeliners, Creative sim items including high heels and more raunchy or sexy outfits to be worn at clubs or on dates. This actually seems like a pack for more mature sims. I'm actually really excited to see how this plays out just based on the leak details. If any of this or if all of this is accurate, this expansion pack could be amazing in my opinion. It has a little something for everyone between new interactions, new, new, new venue, new traits, new career. I mean, there's so much. We usually don't get that much in an expansion pack. As long as it's not a buggy mess <laughs> and it actually functions the way it's supposed to, this would also add so much gameplay and personality to our Sims. I would love to see more information about the new woohoo spots and new interactions. The full trailer is supposed to be released next Thursday, June 27th, with the game actually coming out on Thursday, July 25th. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I will keep you abreast of any other leaks that have come out between now and next week.